Never Stop Learning, week 148. I'm gonna take a quick look at some basic shortcuts for your zoom tool in Adobe Photoshop. So here I've got this image, and the first thing I wanna do is come to the top and find this view menu. When you scroll down, this is a good section for you to study. So we have zoom in, which is command plus, zoom out, which is command minus, fit on screen, which is command zero, and for 100%, you wanna hit command one. All right, so instead of choosing one of these options, I'm gonna hit escape so I can just run through them really quick on my keyboard. So uh, command plus will zoom you in, command minus will zoom you out, command zero will fit your entire image on the screen, uh, command one will zoom you in to 100%, and you see that's indicated over here in the bottom left-hand corner of my document. All right, I'll hit command zero to zoom all the way out, that way you can see the whole image. Now, this is still retaining the, uh, the tool that I'm working with. If I wanna completely switch over to the zoom tool, all I have to do is hit the letter Z, and now I have the zoom tool activated. You see it over here in the tools panel. If I hover over it, it gives me the name of the tool, but it also shows me that there's a keyboard shortcut. Just have to hit Z, and it'll activate the tool. Well, while I'm hovering over this, I actually wanna double click on it to show you that it'll bring your image to 100% as you see it indicated over here on the bottom left. While I have this zoom tool activated, I could actually click and drag towards the left or to the right to zoom in and out. So I'm gonna click and drag towards the right to zoom in, towards the left to zoom out. And you see it's moving along really fluid, really fast. It's a good way to work. I'll go ahead and release that. And then just show you one more time. I'll click and drag towards the right, it zooms in. Towards the left, it'll zoom out. I can also click and hold, and you see it's zooming in following my cursor. I'll zoom all the way in, and all of a sudden you see I have this uh, pixel grid that appears. Well, if it's getting in your way of your editing, just hit Command H, and it'll hide the pixel grid for you. Command H will bring that back. I'll hit Command Zero to zoom all the way out and show you some workflow stuff. So I'm gonna hit the uh, O key, and that's gonna bring up my burn tool. And what I like to do in this section is show you how to temporarily access your zoom tool. So here I am with the burn tool. And what I'd like to do is zoom in to this flower right here. So I'm gonna hit the Z key, but hold it down. And I'll click and drag towards the right. And you see it's starting to zoom into this area. If I click and drag towards the left, you see it zooms out. The whole time I'm holding down the, the Z key, when I release, you see I have this burn tool and I'm able to come in here and start editing my image. So I'll hold down the Z key, click and drag to zoom in a bit, and then I'll come in here and keep editing because I still have this uh, zoom tool activated. Next, I'm gonna get into the hand tool just a little bit because it works so well with the zoom tool. So right now I'm zoomed in all the way. I'm still using my burn tool, but I wanna move to a different section of this image. I could hold down the space bar and that's temporarily gonna give me this hand tool. So I could click and drag to start moving this guy around and I could also click and drag and pretty much toss this guy around to move things up a little bit faster for me. That spacebar trick works great, but sometimes if you're really zoomed in here and you need to get to a different portion of your image, you might wanna lean on this navigator a bit. So right here, it shows you your entire image. This little red square here is showing you the uh, zoom area that you're in. You can click and drag to move it around. What I like to do is if I wanna target this flower down here, I'll just click on it once and now you see it in the middle of my image. If I want one of these other flowers, I just have to click on them and it brings that zoom view right over there to me. I can also hold down the command key, click and drag to redefine a zoom view right here in the navigator. All right, so let me just hide this guy really quick because I'm gonna show you another way to work. This is another little shortcut that's new to my workflow. So I'm zoomed in and I wanna get to another area of my image. What I could do is hold down the H key and then click with my mouse and that gives me this bird's eye view. Around my cursor, you see I have this rectangle. The rectangle is kind of giving you a preview of your zoom area. So I'm gonna come over here and uh, let's say we're just gonna target this flower. I'll release my mouse, then the H key, and now I can start working. So remember I had that burn tool activated, so I come back in here and just start editing things. I'm gonna hold down the H key, click with my mouse, find a new area, and then just go to work. I still have that tool activated, so I come in here and make some edits, hold down the H key, click and drag. Sorry folks, I just really wanna bring this home to show you some workflow stuff. And then I still have my burn tool activated, so I come in here and make these edits.
And there you have it, folks. Those are some of the basic shortcuts when you're working with the Zoom tool in Adobe Photoshop.